Welcome to the channel. Got a Timex watch unboxing for you, and Timex is coming on strong lately and really appealing to me, making some really cool stuff. And this one is going to be a new version of an old diver style watch. Let's get started. Let's slip off our box cover, and this is a nice heavy duty box, but it's all about the watch, as we always say. And there it is, our Timex Navi XL 41 millimeter featuring a synthetic rubber strap. Does include a manual, which is always a nice touch and much appreciated, but a very simple unboxing. Nice pillow mounted presentation. Let's see if we can pull off our static cling lens protector there. And there it is. Our first impression of this watch that Timex says takes its design inspiration from their earlier diver watches and this one is a quartz smooth watch we have a little spacer in there to keep it from engaging to prevent battery drain during shipping and let's see if we can adjust our time and there's a very smooth sweep very responsive adjustment with our crown and i do like how the hour hand has a circle that is sort of identifying our 24-hour timekeeping, which is a nice touch there. Definitely a, a distinctive feature with the printed 24-hour inner chapter ring there, giving it sort of a field watch vibe as well. The other big standout with this watch is the mineral crystal, and it is very pronounced, um, not recessed in any way. It's got a high bevel, and gives you a sort of a wonderful rippling distortion effect to the lens. Can definitely see that bevel from quite a ways away. Other first impressions, we have an unsigned crown that's not very well polished. We do have a satin brushing around the case and on the lugs. The only polishing I'm seeing is really inside the lug pocket and at the rotating bezel this is a bi-directional bezel and we'll look at that a little closer in a second but a very sporty looking watch for what you're getting i would have loved to have seen sapphire crystal here but with the going rate on timex's website we're at 129 dollars it's hard to expect sapphire but we can always dream and accept the fact that this mineral crystal's got some scratches in its future Regardless, for the price point, it's uh, a nice first impression. I found this one for well under MSRP. I will leave a link in the description for the latest pricing. Let's zoom in real quick and take a look at that dial. You have an interesting texture to it. It is a flat black. It's got a little bit of a sheen because of that texturing, but the black is uh, pretty true. And then you can see our printed Timex. We've got the 10 ATM, which is basically saying that it's the equivalent of pressure resistance of a hundred meter. This is definitely not a diver watch. This is something that you could take into a swimming pool or for snorkeling, swimming, that kind of stuff, but not going to be diving with this one anytime soon. Get a closer look at that synthetic rubber watch band. And it's got some interesting diamond pattern holes as well as a signed brushed buckle two rubber keepers and we have an interesting basket weave pattern there into the texturing very nice touches there giving it sort of a classic look all right that's everything in our unboxing we're gonna put this packaging away again i'm very happy with the presentation and the quality of the packaging that timex gives you and i'm really loving the way that timex is coming to market they are getting into it and i, I like to see that enthusiasm from a manufacturer especially one with so much history and a great brand name. Let's go ahead and go for the dismount off of our pillow and get a closer look at this watch. And this watch band, again, has some really nice touches to it. Gives you sort of that simple classic look. Take a look at our underside here. And a very nice, soft, rubberized quality to that watch band looks like it's gonna be very comfortable 
take a look at our case back. This is a snap-on case back. So that's uh, not unexpected, but not amazing, especially when you're dealing with a quartz watch. You're going to be changing batteries, hopefully every three years or so. But you're going to be popping off that case and getting to that battery compartment. Let's go ahead and confirm our specs and dimensions. We are at a 41 millimeter case diameter. If we factor in our crown and crown guards, we're at 44 millimeters. So not small, but 50 millimeters lug to lug. And lastly, let's look at our case thickness. We are right at 12 millimeters. And let's get our inner lug width. It is at right at 20 millimeters if you want to switch out this watch band. This watch band will fit, by the way, 5.9 to 8.1 inch wrist. If you need a longer one or if you want to go with a NATO strap, select accordingly, get a 20 millimeter. Let's go ahead and grab our weight real quick here. Ounces, we're at just over two and a half ounces. And grams from my friends overseas, 73 grams. So very lightweight, very respectable dimensions on this watch. All right, enter my Olight Warrior Mini 2. And let's cook up some lumens here and hit the lights. And the loom is not incredible. I'll have to say that right now. I was hoping for some Indiglow or something that was going to be Seiko-esque, but um, not amazing with the loom. So at this price point, I didn't expect too much, but um, it is legible, but definitely not something that is a big feature and a big selling point. All right, lights back on, and this watch definitely looks better in the light. A lot easier to read, anyway. We mentioned that bezel, and this is a bi-directional bezel. There is some texture there, but it's hard to really grip and, and deploy this. It's smooth with no clicks, but uh, definitely got some resistance there. This is definitely going to be limited to timekeeping, which is cool. I like how you've got the minutes called out on the bezel ring itself, so... Not a lot of diving going to be going on with this thing, but this is definitely more of a, what, I think it's a desk diver is what Teddy Balazar called it. I love that term. I call it a decorative diver. But a lot of good quality here. I love the etched information on the case back. I love the texture, the quality of the band. It's very secured in, very nicely Place with the spring bars, there's not a lot of play. This watch is going to ride secure and um, should serve a lot of folks very well. Let's bring in a couple of other watches just to give you some size perspectives here. This is the Casio Duro. This is, dare I say, a legendary internet sensation. It's an awesome true diver watch, 200 meter water resistance, so definitely not a function comparison, but just giving you some size perspectives you can see that Casio is a lot bigger watch and a lot more capable 200 meter water resistance with our Timex is 100 meter equivalent with that 10 ATM giving you the pressure equivalence of 100 meters last but not least let's bring in a true IPX diver this is our SKX 007 J1 and this one is 200 meter water resistance that's Oh, my favorite watch. But let's give you some size comparisons only. Both watches look really nice. And let's go ahead and get this on wrist and see how this thing looks and feels where it counts. And that's aboard the wrist and very comfortable very lightweight. I love the feeling of that rubber band and it just this watch works wonderful. I really like it and for the money it's hard to argue with and glad to see that Timex is getting back into the game so to speak and bringing cool things to the table. Hopefully this gave you a good first impression of our Timex Navi XL 41 millimeter. It's a watch I do recommend. I think it's simple. I think it's well made and for the money it's hard to argue with. That's what I got this time folks. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning into the channel.
and I'll see you next time.